Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. So I want to talk to you guys about a very important topic and that is to do with the ether element. Now, I've already covered the other four elements on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested in listening to that, please feel free to scroll through my channel and to find the videos. Right, so then let's get into today's topic of the ether element. So the ether element, as seen over here at the top, makes up the other four elements. That being earth, which is solid, fire being light, water being liquid, and air being gas. The properties of ether is that it is formless and limitless and has no boundaries. So for example, think about your consciousness. Your consciousness is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Your consciousness can take on any form. It is limitless and has no boundaries. The ether element essentially is associated with space and what the Buddhists would call emptiness. Right. Not only that, the ether element is associated with Satan. Okay, so why do I say this? If you look at the normal pentagram, it is upright. Now, if you look at the satanic pentagram, it is inverted. So now the ether element is at the bottom. And this is my personal opinion as to why I think that is. So the right-hand path practitioners focus to merge with the divine, merge with the, with the all, if that's what you want to call it. They seek unity consciousness and left-hand path practitioners or cultists focus on service to self. So basically deifying the God within them. So the pentagram can be seen as a rejection or the upside down pentagram can be seen as a rejection of the unity consciousness. So the unity consciousness or the upright pentagram is basically representing spirit over the spirit world over the material world whereas um the upside down pentagram is representing you know being a god of the or taking control of the material realm and and deifying yourself and mastering this material plane of existence so wait let me explain that again so that you guys can understand what i'm saying so the right hand path practitioners are seeking to merge with the divine and basically focus on the, the spiritual world more so than the material world whereas left hand path practitioners practitioners are focusing on mastering the material realm and deifying themselves becoming their own god right we don't we don't reject the material realm we seek to to use it to our advantage to gain more power for our own evolutionary potential so that's my personal opinion as to why I believe the satanic pentagram is inverted. And if your ether element is imbalanced, more than likely you'll be having a lot of throat issues because ether is associated with sound. So you'll probably find that you're afraid to speak your truth your, you basically your throat chakra would be imbalanced and the way to balance it is that you can do there's a mudra here ether is the middle finger can this come out straight yeah this is the the mudra for the ether element so you can do this mudra whilst you are meditating yeah, meditating wow meditating you put your middle finger you touch it with your thumb and do this about 30 minutes every day whilst you're meditating in order to balance your ether element, right? 
So yeah, that is everything I wanted to say about the ether element. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and bye.